Next up, Kansas City and San Francisco. Bubek going for Kansas City and Logan Webb back to the mound for San Francisco. Webb is uh, has struggled. He's been winless in his last five start, but but uh, uh, despite that, the Giants still a big favorite, uh, two forty favorite over the Royals. Total in this game is eight, and one of the reasons why the Giants are still a favorite, even though Webb hasn't been pitching really well, is because the Kansas City Royals guy is one of the worst teams in baseball. 20 games below 500, and Bubek, uh, he's he's a bit of a mess too. So, base winner, give us some thoughts on this game. I know this is going to be the back end of your parlay here. Tell us why you like the Giants and Logan Webb. Yeah, Logan Webb is, for me, the sixth best pitcher in baseball. And I know a lot of baseball hipsters are going to say, well, that's way too high for him. But if you look at his advanced numbers, they're pretty darn good. And I, I think you, you, you take a look at his – his game log, his last five games, he's got a 3.0 combined ERA, 2.54, 1.55, 4.39. It was a little bit off versus uh, on the road versus Miami, uh, but then a 3.56. So projected wise, and this goes back to I don't know, using statistics that are that are about four four months worth of data for for um, for Logan Webb. He's got a, he's got an ERA projection of 3.0, so that's that's a that's a fair number. And then I think if you take a look at Chris Bubik, if you look at the base winner leaderboard for pitchers and you look at the base winner ERA, he's 192nd, and that places him last in baseball, 6.60 base winner ERA. I've got to play against the guy. Uh, and I just think ancillary uh, ideas here, the, the bullpen, San Francisco, much better bullpen. Uh, offensively, they're, they're closer than you would think, but you still have an edge. Uh, with the Giants, I've got them 18th in baseball, 4% better than average. I've got the, the Royals uh, 23rd in baseball, 2% worse than average. And then if you look at that pitching plus number, which I like to look at from the athletic, Logan Webb is a 91 percentile and Bubich is a 1 percentile. So I think we've got a lot of things working for us in this game. I think it's a, it's a good qualifier for the back end of that parlay with the Yankees TC. All right, Jeff? Yeah, I mean, when you look at the Giants, I mean, their OPS, their slugging, their, their run numbers are just better against left-handed pitching. They're very good at home, scoring over five runs a game. I mean, we may have to come to the realization, I mean, is Bubek, you know, one of the worst pitchers in baseball? I mean, bad bullpen behind him. Kansas City, I mean, if not for Cincinnati, they, they would have the worst bullpen by a, a significant margin. This is an awful bullpen, just an awful team in, in general, to be honest. Um, I'm looking at this total at, at BetUS at – for the Giants at four and a half. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, well, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of liking that. I mean, they've been good in that park. Bubik's been a disaster. The bullpen sucks. You know what? I'm going to add that over four and a half on, on the sheet uh, with the Giants. I agree with Mark here. I, I think at any rate, the Giants have a big offensive night. Um, he's a little higher, I think, on the bullpen than maybe I am. Um, I, I don't think they're particularly good, but the, the Royals don't really – give me much solitude that they're going to come back and win a game or anything. So, yeah, I think the play for him is good. But I'm going to add San Francisco team total over a four and a half here against Bubik, who's been terrible. Yeah, and you figure if Logan Webb's going to get right, this would definitely be the opponent uh, for him to get right. And, uh, you know, talk about the Giants, like I mentioned earlier, sweeping the Dodgers, getting back into the NL West race here. Uh, their defense has been outstanding and their pitching, uh, bullpen, everything in that in Dodgers. They only gave up four runs in that series, but the D Giants weren't scoring a lot of runs as well, too, in that series. So uh, when you think of the Giants, you don't think about a, a bunch of big bats here. But um, should it be enough to get the job done against Kansas City? Bubek's bad. You're right. I mean, so, they've yeah. been one of the better offenses this year. I mean, yeah. I'm again, just if we're just, yeah. if we're just yeah, looking at a run scored. I mean, they've been good. <laughs> All right. Let's lock uh, Jeff and base winner in for this. So we're going to lock base winner in for his the second leg of his parlay. So he's going to have a Yankees-Giants parlay going in this one. Two, $2 favorites uh, to bring that juice down. And then Jeff's going to play a team total in this game on the Giants. Uh, four and a half. Is that the number, Jeff? Four and a half? Four and a half, yeah. Four and a half. Over uh, with the Giants on that one. Okay. 